Alright, I am back with another Destiny 2 video. Uh, this is going to just be a brief overview, kind of an addition to the Mythoclast article I wrote earlier. Um, obviously I've been hearing that this is kind of overpowered and crazy for a while, but only recently have I kind of actually done some builds to actually test this. Uh, I wrote an article about how drop rates continue to be terrible, and this has sparked a fresh debate about whether bad luck protection works at all, or if it's good enough, or if it's bugged, or what's going on with that. But uh, right now I just wanted to kind of just talk about the build and what people are doing, generally speaking, to to utilize Mythoclast in kind of absurd ways. Some of this is due to one season, seasonal mod in particular, and yet uh, it was buffed about seven different ways. Like, I'm not exaggerating, I think they are, there were seven buffs total <laughs> with all the different things Bungie did to it. Uh, including just a giant PvE damage increase, um, but it's still performing well at PvP. And then plus, it works well with a lot of exotics and uh, charged with lights and well builds. So uh, you may be wondering, why I don't I admit the class on this build? Well, because this is the first of two builds I'm going to show off. Uh, ignore the fact that I don't actually have an exotic. I didn't actually... I, was, I had this on my Hunter first, and I didn't know what was like the good exotic to even use here, because... Uh, Warlock and Titan both have kind of specific exotics that pair really well with the class, but I couldn't figure one out um, for Hunter yet, other than your just usual like Stompies or whatever. But I have all these because they were uh, 10 energy with the right affinities I needed for whatever thing I was doing. Okay, so I'll start with the perk that's kind of shared across both of these. This is Particle Deconstruction. Um, it is the final row linear... Or linear fusion or regular fusion rifle perk that allows you to stack damage up to five times on an enemy um, every time you hit that enemy with a fusion rifle. This is good for most fusion rifles, uh, like regular fusion rifles and linears can both tear things up with this uh, because just the stacking damage is, is pretty solid. Um, the class does this very fast and very frequently and it is a primary ammo, essentially it's an auto rifle, but it is classified as a fusion rifle because that's the way things have always been, even though that doesn't make a ton of sense and it doesn't operate really like a fusion watt rifle um, at its at baseline. It does have the linear fusion mode that you can switch to, uh, but that will only stack three times because you run out of shots after that. Uh, this build I have my uh, stasis melees that uh, stun overload champions, which is really good for hunter because there are two melees and you can spam them all the time. Um, okay, so this is the charge with light build. This is quick charge. Again, um, this is normally for fusion rifles or shotguns, and yet, because uh, the class is classified as a fusion rifle, you can uh, become charged with light very, very quickly by defeating normal enemies with it. And then if you get the little arc bonus, you greatly increase your ready speed of fusion rifles as well. So that is how you get yourself charged with light. Charged up lets you uh, stack an additional charge with light, uh, stack, um, and then stacks on stacks lets you uh, stack an extra charge for every stack you gain so you can ramp up really quickly. I think there's one that takes you to like four or five total, but I, I didn't do that. And then higher G fire is why you're stacking charges with light in the first place. Uh, and because this gives you a bonus to weapon damage when it consumes uh, and it consumes charge of light. So you're just constantly shredding enemies, getting charges of light with those other mods, and then spending them on this, which gives you even more bonus damage past how ridiculous uh, Vex already is, paired with Particle Deconstruction. So that is one build. The other build I have going on my Titan, which the way all these buffs stack, I feel like this comes out about even. This might be a little better performing just because, um, uh-oh, contacting Destiny servers. Uh, this might be a little better performing just because of, um, I really like this look, by the way. I'm, I'm very happy with this. Uh, the different things it can stack, and it gives you some bonuses like healing and things. Here's the actual Mythic class that I have uh, in its cool chrome form. And then, uh, okay, so here's what's going on here. Again, particle deconstruction. I don't have the melee thing. Uh, you can build this with that melee thing too. It's just that I don't really, I'm for this current Nightfall, I'm running, I don't want to run Throne Hammers because the overload Hobgoblins are usually pretty far away, uh, and I like just this tree more generally, bottom tree with all the solar flares and things. Um, but you can still do do wells and stuff. So uh, the mods here, you have Fonts of Might, which is essentially higher energy fire <laughs> when you pick up uh, a, uh, a weapon or a, a well that matches your subclass type. And since you're solar solar, this gives you a temporary bonus to weapon damage of that same elemental type. So that is obviously Mythoclast, but uh, you can also pair this with 
Coduello, and it will work for that too. So that's just another kind of, you know, bonus there. Uh, and then I have, uh, I didn't, yeah, I forgot to mention this, but like Overload or Unstoppable Fusion. So like Mythoclast can also stun Unstoppable Champions very easily. <laughs> uh, I have Elemental Armaments on. Weapon takes down with a damage type that matches your subclass element have an escalating chance to spawn Elemental Well. Since you are always just going to be killing mostly everything with Mythoclast, uh, it will be spawning Solar Wells for you. So that's how that goes. Well of Life. Uh, this is just something where we, when you pick up a well, you get increased regeneration. It's not like amazing, but it's it's pretty good. And then, uh, let's skip ahead to this. Oh, I already did that. And then Path of Burning Steps. This is the exotic that pairs really well with it. Um, melee Well Maker, and this is just another way to make wells for any of your charged melee attacks that match your um, subclass energy type. So th these are, they were introduced last season, and they were like, whatever, they were like, the dedicated anti-stasis thing back when stasis was kind of pre-nerf and the worst thing on earth literally um but it also has a thing where solar final blows periodically grant you an escalating bonus to weapon damage so this will charge up with the glass kills also in addition to everything else we have going on here and all of this adds up to a pretty just utterly ridiculous build that you can just run around with the class and use almost uh nothing else entirely <laughs> um I'm just going to hop into a Nightfall real quick, and yeah, this isn't like the best example because it's a 1290, uh, but it's match made, <laughs> and I don't want to do the whole uh, group finding thing for this as I'm recording this here. But um, I have been running this for uh, this Nightfall for a while, and you know, obviously, this is not like a set Grandmaster build necessarily for every Nightfall. You're going to need different weapons to fill different roles, and you can't always build everything around Mythoclast, and yet this reminds me of, it's, it's, it very much seems like the strongest primary since um, Outbreak Prime in a lot of ways, and Outbreak Prime at its height was both kind of boss DPS and mob clear, but Vex Mythoclast is kind of, it's, it serves a different role, and yet it feels even more powerful, like kind of in moment-to-moment -moment combat than Outbreak did, and Outbreak also obviously relied uh, on you stacking outbreak with other teammates so it wasn't just like you could solo run outbreak and it'd be like the greatest thing ever i know people love outbreak still and it is a very good weapon um but it's it's different also you will note i do not have the catalyst which um will add even more i think it's it's more damage and stability so and something like that and it'll generate orbs so i don't even have like the full full max uh, unlocked here so i need to make a catalyst run pretty soon here and uh, we will see how this goes, and I'll try not to embarrass myself on a 1290. I was farming the uh, Hothead for a while, and uh, I got a bunch with Adrenaline Junkie and was very sad. I did end up getting one with Vorpal Weapon, and that was good enough for me to stop farming it. Um, I am not expecting to get one on a 1290, even if we do gold it. So I guess we'll see what happens. And on, remember, on 1290, match game does not exist. Uh, <laughs> So if you see me shredding through shields, that's like, this is just how it works because uh, we are on a lower difficulty tier here. But so keep an eye on my bonuses over there. Um, I'm charging up Firewalker, the uh, bonus from Burning Steps. I am spawning Elemental Wells, as you see already. I can spawn um, this. Oh, and yeah, I can just like essentially two-shot <laughs> champions at this level with this. Uh, and now I've got my wells going. Look at my health. You can see my health just crawling up because that's the added recovery. Uh, I could be running a longer, like a sniper or something for longer range, but you don't really need it. Um, also, if you pay attention to the damage numbers, you can see the uh, stacking bonuses to... Oh, right. Also, the well, the um, things I spawn here give me X, like a 25% damage bonus too. Um, oh, someone's running Sunbracers. That's fun. Um, but you can you can see the numbers go up as uh, the particle thing stacks. Oh shit, I forgot this was even here. Oh wait, I can't swear on the channel. Well, we'll see how YouTube thinks of that. <laughs> um, oh, this guy died. His sun bracers did not save him, but I respect him for running them. So uh, I don't actually have anything for overload right now, but this does so much damage that it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Uh, at least at this level. Um, normally I would be running a bow or a melee or something like that to stun overload because I don't want to be that guy who's not uh, participating in killing champions, but 
All right, these are actually solar shields, so this is just going to shred all these guys down. Not really even an optimal range here, but it is still doing work. Okay, you can calm down, you captain. Uh, so yeah, and I, I keep spawning wells with grenades from burning enemies. And then just do the linear fusion thing, and he's done. Um, I think elemental wells have like the highest chance to spawn on yellow bars and champions. Like I think it's almost a guarantee. I think so. I think that's why you see yellow bars from them a, a lot. Oh, I saw one of them has the mod on where it spawns a bunch of stasis and uh, what you call it wells. Oh, this guy died. Every time you kill a champion, which is a cool skill. But um, all right, I screwed something up apparently because I'm supposed to have my super by now to use here. But it's okay. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, I'll just use it now. <laughs> so is this overload guy here? Okay. Don't think anyone on my team has anything to stun overload enemies, which may come back to bite us later. <laughs> but, uh, normally, so before I have been running. Oh wait, I could, this is a normal one, so I can switch. I either have biting winds or whispering slab. So I forgot you don't have locked loadouts here, so I can just change to that and be a participating member of my team. Besides just stunning overloads with mythoclast. Uh, you can run a linear fusion in your in your power slot too. I just I think it's kind of overkill, and for this boss, I just like having a rocket launcher just for some chunky damage because uh, he's not exactly one that is super great to hit with a linear fusion. I mean, you could do it, but you might as well just use a rocket. There's no re reason not to. Um, I would say I die to the boopy blight things here more than any actual enemy, so we'll see if that happens here. Um, that has happened frequently in my many runs of this, but. So yeah, you can see you can see all the boosts that are just constantly happening. Sun Warrior, Firewalker, Solar Weapon Boost, blah blah blah. Like, it is really just kind of endless. All right, and like you don't even have to switch to linear fusion. Like you just knock them down as is. And like again, I know this is lower power level, but trust me when I say that it is it is not that much different on thirteen twenty. Like I'm thirteen thirty or whatever. Um, maybe it'll be different as you get more towards master and things like that. Uh, and yet for now. It certainly seems to be just fine. So we'll do that, and then we'll just see. So you can see how the damage stacks with particle, uh, whatever it's called, particle deconstructor. I don't remember. I already forgot. But all right, this is a part where people die a lot when they're running this, myself included. Sometimes, uh oh, this guy's AFK or something. I'll save you. Um, yeah, getting a. So another thing I like is is the the close melee gives you wells. Um, like right on top of you, where's the range melee? You'd have to go run for them, so that's a little different. Uh, uh, where's the guy? Is he hiding? Don't run ahead, don't run ahead, don't run ahead. Okay. If you run ahead, it'll despawn the champions. That has happened a few times. Um, you can kill the yellow bar, you just can't run ahead because that's what despawns them. I think we got them all there. So, yeah, I've played this so much at this point, I have patterns down. So, as you can see, I'm killing most of the champions just because I have one gun that is doing everything, uh, more or less. And it's not particularly hard to use. Um, people are saying that the only reason that the glass is so strong right now is because of particle deconstruction. I don't think that's true. I think it's even without that, the way they have buffed this gun and the way you can use it with some different exotics and different builds is pretty nuts. Um, the, the Warlock exotic you want to use with this is Mantle of Battle Harmony, where like it's something about when your super's full, you get uh, weapon damage based on your subclass or something, if it matches your subclass. I don't remember. It's something like that. Uh, but it does something pretty similar to uh, what we're seeing here with the steps thing. All right, this freaking thing. I have died more times to this one specifically because it rockets you into this geometry over here and you just die in like the edge of like a radiator or something like that. Um, all right, what's going on here? You guys can blow up. Did I get a well? Yep. Okay, since I'm the stun guy for these, we can take him down. Give me a well. You guys can uh, deal with those guys while I get this well. And we are getting close to the end here. Boop. One more. I think we got all the champions this time. But 1290 rewards are so bad that I, I these are not worth running. It is definitely worth setting up a team on, on LFG just to do uh, 
1320 is the very least because drop rates are very bad. There we go. There's a nice little headbutt. So usually, oh god, I can't see anything. I start off with, uh oh, we have a dead guy. How did that happen? Well, that might throw a wrench into things. Can I get back up there? Oh boy. Things are about to go. <laughs> This is the first time I think that has ever happened. <laughs> Probably gonna... Are we gonna wipe? No, he's, he's this super. Okay, well, I was distracted by the dead guy. I'm not gonna take any blame for that. It's fine. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not too worried. I think we'll be okay once I can actually respawn here. And pop my super. Just stack some... So I didn't realize this actually spawned a well or a solar well thing uh, as soon as you popped it down. Didn't used to do that. There we go. Okay. Just a little hiccup. Not so bad. No rewards as usual. But this is about uh, 200 parallax trajectory for like seven, eight minute whatever run. So if you were farming that to get uh, lost rolls, that's very good. So anyways... That is um, the Mythoclast build, or at least that's like kind of two Mythoclast builds. Uh, there's the other Warlock one that can use either Charged with Light or Elemental Well mods or whatever, but Particle Deconstruction is always a part of it, and that is something you definitely want to have on. So, yep, this is uh, pretty crazy, and if you don't have Mythoclast, I'm sorry, but that is how much fun it is to use right now. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Take care.